Shalom, shalom. I'm Barbara, and I'm always short and sweet. The Olympics blaspheme God. Well, this all happened in Paris just a couple weeks ago. 2024 is the year we're in. And blaspheme, the definition is to speak in a way that shows irreverence for God or something sacred. A drag show version of the Last Supper is blasphemy. What we just witnessed at the 2024 Olympics was an inversion, inverting everything Christian. In the place of Jesus is a lesbian who calls herself Barbara Butch. In the place of the apostles, drag queens inverting women for men, but not quite women. The women are actually men depicted as women to replace men. And this scene is an inversion of the Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. Well, how can Christians watch this and say, oh, it's not the Last Supper? I think if this was mocking any other religion or group of people, they would have more of an uprisal against it than the Christians are just sitting back. Well, here she is with the halo, and it's like the Renaissance-type halo that you see on pictures of Jesus. And uh, maybe you don't know the halo is a symbol of the sun, the sun god and sun worship. But anyway, she has this halo on her head. And then um, she said when she posted all of this that, oh, yes, yes, it's the gay New Testament. Well, uh, the Olympics admitted opening the ceremony with uh, being based on the Last Supper, but then they tried to change it back. Well, they're not trying to mock Christianity, they say. Oh, they say they were just trying to celebrate a pagan feast to a pagan god. And the truth is, nobody who saw that image was thinking of some obscure engraving or painting they never heard of. So which one of these pictures match what they were doing? Well, it isn't enough to desecrate the Last Supper. They had to bring in a pagan god of immorality to finish the desecration. And the ancient pagan god was Dionysus, the god of orgies. And he appears to be represented at this Last Supper mockery. The gays at the Last Supper mockery began rubbing against each other as if they were in an orgy. And this all happened while they had a child in the midst of the scene. So it's basically an orgy that's being presented to us with a hint of pedophilia. Yes, they are becoming brazen. At the Last Supper with his disciples, Jesus, Yeshua, took the bread and wine. And this mockery meal appears on their feast table. This is a man, basically virtually naked, covered in blue paint, covered in some leaves. So instead of communion, the bread representing the body of Messiah, you have the body of the pagan god Dionysus. So a lot of people maybe aren't aware of the song this guy was singing. He was singing basically about inclusion, about removing all our differences, seeing each other as being naked. And then he said naked over and over again, and then the music became like very white bedroom music. And they all started uh, getting against each other. Well, are we seeing the return of the gods to America? Yes, we are. Since America has uh, left God out of the schools and the churches, it all started in the sexual revolution of the 1960s. Well, the opening of the Olympics featured the head of a golden bull, and that's a grown-up golden calf connected to a French statue. But whatever the reason, it is pagan. And the image of a golden calf was the biblical symbol of a people that had known God and had turned away from God. Here is the golden calf, and it represents Baal. Judges 2, 10 to 14 says they abandoned the Lord and served the Baals and Ashtoreths. Here is modern Baal worship and the Tower of Babel. This all happened in 2022 at the Commonwealth Games, and I did a video on it showing that they bowed down to this Baal worship, this bull. And here's another uh, pagan god, this Feast of Dionysus. And this feast was celebrated at the Olympics 
and they try to make it look like a Christian feast. So this is the God who would possess his followers and drive them into frenzies. He would drive them into madness like the demonic spirit that Jesus or Yeshua speaks about and could cast out of people. And that frenzy of madness is exactly what appears in this Last Supper mockery. They started getting like they were possessed. The goddess Ishtar is also coming back to America. Uh, she was known as Ashtaroth in the Bible, and she's also known as Aphrodite in Greek and Venus in Rome, and she is Ishtar and also known as Inanna. She was the goddess of sexuality, and so it's no accident that she has started the sexual revolution since the 1960s when people turned away from God. Ashtoreth was the goddess who altered sexuality and morphed it. She bent it and twisted it. And that is the spirit of twisted gender. In her ancient inscriptions, she says, I am a woman, I am a man. And she says she has the power to turn men into women and women into men. And that's what's happening right now. And we've seen all this uh, happen at the Olympics. She's turning and using sexuality to turn a Judeo-Christian culture into a pagan one. Who is the Enchantress? I did a video about this, and she is the female goddess of the Bible, also known as Ashtra. And I also did a video about the halo uh, being a symbol of sun worship. So please like if this is a blessing to you and share it with your friends. And remember, Revelation 18, 4 says, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers in her sins. So I'll be back next time, yeah, willing, and thank you for being here today.